Peace be with you. I am Father Joel Aquino. Please join me every Tuesday at 7 in the evening Pacific Time and 10 in the evening Eastern Time for an hour of conversations about Word of God and our Christian mission in relation to the many issues that we are facing today through Servants on Air here at PHLV Radio. Please download the PHLV Radio app from the Apple Store and Google Play, where we will have a wide ranging and honest discussions on such topics, especially on Christian faith and relationships. We will also be hearing experiences with God from our brothers and sisters, and hopefully this will enlighten us as to live out our day-to-day -day Christian life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and save what was lost. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, once again, Jesus, our Lord, reach out someone who comes to him in humility. Zacchaeus, as we all know, as a wealthy man, materially speaking, but in theory, he was probably poor. He was in need of the Lord. He was in need of God. This kind of spiritual poverty, this kind of situation led him to seek out Jesus with such determination, with such eagerness. Here in the gospel, we see how Zacchaeus desire to see the Lord. When we look at the attitude of this man, who was known probably to be a sinner in the context of that society, he never probably imagined that Jesus would, would offer him to stay in his house. And clearly, he climbed the tree to get a glimpse of the Lord because he felt that strong desire of having him in his life. Is it not your own experience as well, right? 
perhaps you remember one of your prayers that um, you're so eager you want to receive communion you even want to be closer to the tabernacle and all that is because we sense that need that holy desire to be with the lord closely and so it is with zacchaeus and since he was physically wealthy he probably felt at the same time that he was also in need of something of someone more than the material that he enjoys in his life and that resonates as well to many of us today in spite the the blessings so to speak that we receive in our life probably with the wealth the good name and the power and the prestige that we have in this life still we feel that there is something that is still lacking in our hearts and when we are in prayer when we are in the presence of the lord that desire is is being is being filling up it is being covered it is being uh, addressed and that holy desire grows all the more and when we are there in the presence of the lord we just feel right we just feel that with jesus there is that deep experience experience of satisfaction of um of fulfillment that holy desire to be in the lord is growing and it makes it makes us really feel better so to speak this is what happened to zacchaeus something was missing in his life and he couldn't help but to know that jesus will surely give him the answer so zacchaeus did what some may have thought the unusual he climbed at the tree to be able to see jesus and what happened next was that jesus caught his attention why did jesus stop and dined with Zacchaeus in his home. Number one, it's all because the Lord Jesus, who is our God, the eternal Son of the Father, sees our hearts. He sees the very condition of our soul. When we truly and sincerely desire Jesus in our life we become attractive to him all the more that the lord jesus will always find a way for us to be able to reach out and experience the grace of god in him the lord who is all powerful the condition and the situation of our hearts and soul no wonder in that instant jesus said today i will eat i will dine with you in your house from here my dear friends it tells us at the same time that jesus truly responds to our needs 
It tells us who God is. He doesn't only see our situation, but he hears us. That he knows our predicament, our situation, and that he desire as well to respond the longing of our heart and soul. No wonder the Lord Jesus responded to the greatest need of man, and that is salvation. No one really can, can save humanity. Man cannot save himself. We don't have the power to do that. And because the Lord Jesus knows very well our situation and our limitation, he even climbed the tree, not a sycamore tree, but the tree of life, the tree that became the Holy Cross, and he allowed himself to get there and to be crucified there because he doesn't want only to dine with us. He wants, he wants us to be fed by allowing himself to become the food, the manna from heaven. And by his passion, death, and resurrection of the cross, the Lord Jesus granted us that eternal gift of salvation in which he became, his body and blood became the food for our satisfaction. The food that tells us, the food that heals us and delivers us from suffering and death. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, today we have seen how Zacchaeus in the gospel desires the Lord in his life. Much so, it is God's desire to see all of us. It is his happiness to be one with his people. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, we reflect today the grace of your holy presence. We reflect today that you are so attentive to all of us, your people your children, like Zacchaeus, who desire to be one with you, to see you. We, your people as well, desire to be in communion with you. Grant us, O oh Lord, the grace to seek you all the more that we may be guided in our day-to-day -day life. We know that we are still struggling with our situations of this global pandemic, but even then, Lord, no one really can quench the longing and the desire of our heart. It is only you, Lord, who can give us happiness, assurance, and satisfaction. Lord, may we grow every day deeply so that in our relationship with you, may this as well transform us to become a man for others. Who's a chaos? that encountered your holy presence became transformed person that he began to, to repent and 
he want to share his self to other people. May our relationship with you continue to transform us and that we may become people for others, men and women for others. Let your holy presence, let our daily prayer, our reception of the Holy Communion truly make us one with you, a person who is for other people. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Peace be with you. I am Father Joel Aquino. Please join me every Tuesday at 7 in the evening Pacific Time and 10 in the evening Eastern Time for an hour of conversations about Word of God and our Christian mission in relation to the many issues that we are facing today through Servants on Air here at PHLV Radio. Please download the PHLV Radio app from the Apple Store and Google Play where we will have a wide ranging and honest discussions on such topics, especially on Christian faith and relationships. We will also be hearing experiences with God from our brothers and sisters, and hopefully this will enlighten us as to live out our day-to-day -day Christian life. Good evening, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Good evening, Good evening everyone. To our viewers and followers here at PHLB Radio. We are so honored and grateful that we still have our program, The Servants on Air. And we are so blessed, my dear friends, brothers and sisters, that... We have our brother Mike and Tita June with us to help us uh, reflect and once again continue the, the topic that we have been discussing with them, the basic understanding of Christianity. But before that, may we just uh, call them so they can greet their family and friends here in the States and in the Philippines. Uh, please help me welcome Brother Mike and Tita June. Uh, we would like to say hello to all your listeners uh, in the Philippines and here in America and all over the world. Magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. We are once again uh, very happy to be with all of you and to have Father with us again. <laughs> Thank you so much po. Oh nga no, uh, nandito po ko sa Pilipinas uh, today sila Brother Jude, Tita Judy nasa Las Vegas po. Uh, kasama ang ating PHLB Radio na station diyan sa Las Vegas. So kahit na malayo tayo ngayon no sa isa't isa but still we are able to do our uh, weekly program. We are just so thankful no. That's how the the technology you know the how powerful technology is and it can even reach out um how how far we are from the world that's how powerful the technology is today so um mga kaibigan po natin dyan sa Las Vegas magandang gabi po sa California um saan pa sa New York <laughs> yung mga nakikinig sa atin as well sa Australia uh, mm -hmm. saan pa of course uh, uh from other parts of the states ng mga mga followers natin at yeah. of course dito sa Pilipinas uh -oh. yung mga yeah. communities natin o baka may gusto kayong batiin brother Mike sa BCBP uh, to all the BCBP chapters and outreaches as well as the missions dito sa East Coast as well as dito sa West Coast uh, America. And also we have so many friends in the BCBP community in the Philippines from Luzon, Visayas and Mindanao. Hello to all of them. <laughs> Opo, nako. Oh, nga pala, no, si Tita just had a 
surgery ulit. Nako talaga naman, oo. Pero ngayon, parang yung ngiti ninyo, parang hindi kayo nagdaan ng surgery, ah. <laughs> oo nga, pare. <laughs> hindi, lang, hindi, lang, hindi lang surgery, father. He, she just had a uh, blood transfusion at three bags again. Oh, wow. Grabe yan, no? oo. Nako, kumusta na kayo po? Et. <laughs> With God's grace. Wow, oo nga. Talagang fighter kayo, tita, ano? Oo nga. Fighter. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm. <laughs> malamig na ba dyan sa Las Vegas? Ay, oo, Father. Malamig na, malamig na. Malamig hmm. na, oo. Talaga naman. Parang ano nga eh, uh, feel na feel na natin yung Christmas pag malamig, di ba? Yes, yes, Father. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ang aga magdilim. <laughs> aga. Oh, oh. Yes, uh, before, before five o'clock in the afternoon, dark na, Father. Wow, oh, oh, oh. wow, oh, oh. ganun talaga, no? Uh, dito din, um, at least hindi naman ganong ano, humid kasi di ba pag December dito din sa Pilipinas, maano din, ma, maganda din ang panahon. Di ba nga may kanta nga na yung Christmas song na Malamig ang simoy ng hangin. Masaya ng bawat damdamin. Ako, sa'yo ng Pasko. Huwag <laughs> malapit na. Malapit na ang Pasko. Mga oh. ilang days na lang. Di po po ba? Yes, Father. Marami ka na namang marinig na carolings dyan. Oo, mukhang pwede na nga daw kasi wala nang ano eh, face mask. I mean, wala nang face shield. May pa face, face shield. mask. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, oh, oh. And then, uh, inalaw na nila na lumabas yung mga teenagers, I think, na ano, especially yung mga vaccinated. So, I think, Merry ang Christmas na dito sa Philippines. Hopefully, na mga ano, hindi naman talaga mag, mag-create ng, ano, ng, ng surge ulit. Um, hopefully nga, We'll pray for that na maging yes, okay yes. ka gradually. Opo. Yeah. And we're glad to know also that uh, they have started the vaccination for younger uh, kids, like 5 to 11. Opo. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, sobrang galing. Uh, at sana marami pa rin mga, mga kababayan natin, hindi lang mga Pilipino, but all over the world, na talagang mag-avail doon mm-hmm. sa... vaccine program ng government. You have to, you know, uh, think about it and decide. Kasi, remember, we have been praying a year ago na Oratio Imperata to have a vaccine na yung mga experts would develop a vaccine. Yes. Ngayon, nakadevelop na. Eh, bakit ayaw natin tanggapin? <laughs> diba? We have been praying for it. Tapos ngayon na nandyan na, ayaw naman natin tanggapin. ba? Diba? Mm-hmm. Eh sabi nga nila daw, kasi nga, Father, na-develop yung vaccine so quick, so madali. Eh kasi usually pag vaccine daw ng mga viral vaccine, it takes a long period of time. Well, totoo yun. Pero alam nyo ba na ang technology ngayon, hindi na kagaya dati. Mm-hmm. Mabilis na mabilis na ang technology. Nakita nyo naman, may iPhone 1 to pang ilang iPhone na yun. <laughs> Every year, yeah. Every year, obsolete na yung last year. Every year, pero ng panibago ulit. Yes, At man. sobrang bilis ng technology ngayon. And can we not accept the fact that, you know, because of the new technology, <laughs> the experts are able to come up with, with the vaccine as quick as we needed them today. Di po ba? Kaya po mga brothers and sisters, uh, wag sana nating kalimutan ano na na pinagdasal natin ito. No? Pinagdasal natin ito at sana uh, marami sa atin na makita yung um, kagandahan ng na may dudulot ng ng vaccine uh, para sa atin. Huwag natin kakalimutan po yun. Of course, um, you have to make up your mind. You have to make that your own decision. 
check with your doctor kung pwede naman kayo no i-check niyo din of course uh, yung kung kaya po ninyong mag mag uh, tanggap ng vaccine na yon okay so but we'll pray and we will continue our prayers for everyone's safety we will continue our prayers for uh, for the many people who are recovering from from the covid-19 and that's Uh, we will surely end and be delivered from this plague of the COVID-19 soon. Ayan. So praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. And tonight, my dear friends, taku, nawala sa atin si La Brother Mike at uh, Tita June dahil nga siguro mahina ang ating signal, mahina ang ating internet. But um, we will have them as soon as they connect once again in uh, in our Zoom. Uh, Brother June? Tita, ah, Brother June. Tita June, sorry. Tita June. <laughs> And Brother Mike. Okay. Nandun, kung bumalik na kayo, nakabalik na ba kayo? Praise the Lord. Oh, ayan. So, um, let us, nandiyan na ba kayo? Pakil- oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, Father. I'm sorry. We're yes, uh, we're back. <laughs> oh, they're back. Okay, praise the Lord. Oh, inekwente ko nga kanina po uh, na mag-avail na po tayo dahil nga may mga magagandang epekto naman itong vaccine na ito. Uh, nakita nyo na nga na dito na sa Pilipinas, for example, nagluwag na, di ba? Eh, yun ang pinagdadasal natin eh. So, we get this confidence of returning the usual things that we do is because we develop a herd immunity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Opo, opo, opo. Uh, if, I may just, uh, if I may just share, Father, uh, two of the, our members in the community, si Brother Larry and uh, Brother Gary, uh, nakapag-booster na sila. They had the two, two shots earlier and then may booster na. Mm-hmm. Tapos, nag-positive pa rin silang dalawa. Oh, wow. Yes, nag-positive pa rin sila. But the good, but the, the good part of it, Father, is uh, while they they tested positive, no? Sa bahay lang sila. And then after one day, after just one day, Father, uh, wala silang naramdamang symptoms and the, the doctor said na uh, malamang it is because nag-effect yung, ano, yung vaccine at saka yung boosters. So otherwise, hospitalized na naman siguro sila. No? Oh, wow. Imagine, no, kung ano. Yun ang sabi nila eh. No? Kung imagine kung wala yung vaccine, so sobrang lala, sobrang masamang epekto sa atin. No? Uh, sabi pa nga, um, nakakamatay talaga itong COVID-19 virus. No, kung may vaccine it then help it helps us na hindi sumama yung situation natin. Tipo ba? Yes. Yes. Opo. Nako, uh, marami tayong ipagdadasal pa ulit and we will continue our prayers na sana bumuti po ang kalagayan natin ng ating pamilya, ng ating community. At ng buong mundo, yun ang wala tayong gusto na nahangad na maging maganda. Hindi lang nitong Pasko na darating, kundi sa darating pang mga araw, buwan at taon. Amen to that, Father. Amen. We're praying with you. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters, um, once again, we thank you for joining us tonight here at Servants on Air. And we continue... Our topic with um, Brother Mike and Tita June, uh, if, kung naalala nyo po, uh, pinag-usapan po natin with them yung basic understanding of Christianity. And we said that a Christian is a person who is one with Jesus. A uh-huh. person who is one with the Lord. And, and we develop that relationship with Him after we receive the sacrament of baptism. Kasi nga, yung sacramento ng binyag, ito ay um, ipinatalaga tayo na maging kabahagi ng 
katawang mistiko ng ating Panginoon. We become part of the church in the mystical body of Christ. And it, it, it doesn't only erase the original sin. It doesn't only cleanse us from the original sin. But at the same time, it uh, elects us to the people of God to become part of the mystical body of Christ. Itinatalaga tayo na maging kabahagi na ng simbahan. Mm-hmm. O, kaya yung relasyon na yon mahalaga sa atin na maintindihan kasi nga dito nagsisimula yung ating kumbaga, uh, ang ating journey ng ating pakikipagkaisa sa Panginoon. Ayan. Opo. So, bilang mga Kristiyano-Katoliko, Uh, sa experience po nila Brother uh, Mike, nila Tita Jun, um, na-share nila last time na sa panahon nila, tinuruan sila ng kanilang mga magulang pero until uh, they were they became part of the church na naging active sila, na naintindihan nila yung kanilang <laughs> yung kanilang relationship sa Panginoon Doon yes. nila na-appreciate yung pagiging kristyano uh, nila. Ma- magbigay nga po kayo, uh, Brother Mike, nung, nung uh, sharing na yun, how you became uh, active in the Catholic Church. Okay, Father. Uh, y- yun na nga, ta- ang tama yung sinabi mo. No? Kung dati ay parang ritualistic lang yung aming uh, pagsunod sa mga tradisyon at saka sa mga kalakalan sa simbahan natin no nung nung tanggapin namin si Kristo bilang aming uh, uh, Panginoon no? at uh, tagapagligtas nagbago ang maming pananaw dito no dati father hindi kami na uh, we do not evangelize no so we just do our part as uh, ano as as uh, Christians and as Catholics No, pero ang kulang father is yung yung ano yung ano ba yung evangelize sa Tagalog yung ano yung pagbabahagi. Pag oh, pagbabahagi no ng salita ng Diyos sa ibang tao because okay. sabi nga so y- yun ang malaking pagkakaibahan no father. Kaya simula nung kami ay uh, naging active na sa at sa, ano, sa aming spiritual life yan. Napakaraming tao, Father, ang ano, ang aming uh, nayaya, in fact. Mm-hmm. Aming mga kopos ang nayaya namin to join us in the marriage encounter community. And then after that, no, naman kami naging active sa aming simbahan, ganun din, Father. No? We, we try to invite as may, and encourage as many parishioners no? to be active in the chairs again para hindi lang yung... Kasi before, Father, uh, marami yung mga... Ano, yung mga retired na rin no yung mga matatagal uh-huh. uh, na hindi na nagwo-work sila yung active sa simbahan and what we tried to do is encourage the younger people no to be active in church para kaya ngayon father tuwing uuwi kami at uh, nagsisimba doon sa aming uh, paris father nakita namin para mas marami na yung mga bata na nagse-serve wow. sa simbahan father oo <coughs> Kaya malaking malaking pagkakaiba no. And every year, tuwing uuwi kami, nakikita namin mga bagong mukha at mga bata. Mm-hmm. Wow, praise the Lord. Opo. Ah, uh, yung yung nandito na kayo, nandiyan na kayo sa states, um do you still keep that um work of evangelization? Nasa nasa puso niyo rin ba ito na mag-evangelize pa rin? Uh, kasi ibang ibang context naman ibang ibang situation naman no sa states medyo mahirap yata ang evangelize diyan <laughs> hindi ba <laughs> most challenging uh, father pero wow. hindi kami sumusuko eh wow. kasi ang, ang paniwala namin itong ating uh, personal relationship kay Jesus hindi lang yung sarili mo ang tinitingnan mo hindi lang yung continuous na yung 
gusto mo mag sanctify yung buhay mo. Mm-hmm. Kung hindi, yung mga tao sa paligid, like yung pamilya, yung mga mm-hmm. ibang kapatid sa simbahan, yeah. kahit na pakilala, mm-hmm. parang naging, naging malaki yung realization na lahat tayo magkakapatid wow. kay Christ. part tayo ng uh, pamilyang the mystical body of Christ na hindi dapat makasarili. Amen. Mm-hmm. Parang uh, hindi ako dapat maging kontento sa mabait ako, nagbibigasimahan. Uh-huh. <laughs> kung hindi, eh, napakaliit pa niyan kung tutuos mm-hmm. Uh, sa pasasalamat sa Panginoon sa lahat ng biyayang binibigay niya araw-araw. Opo, lahat ng kalingan. Mm-hmm. Kaya uh, lahat eh, parang lahat inaalay ko. Amen. Lahat yeah. ng pwede kong gawin. Opo. No? Oh, wow. Uh, uh, Kalalaganap pa nung kanyang Uh, banal na salita at yung yung uh, gusto niyang pamumuhay natin habang tayo nandito sa mundo. Amen. Yeah. Oo. Wow. Napakaganda po ng sinabi ninyo. Uh, kasi nga, um, nagpapatunay lang yan na kung anong klasing relationship meron tayo sa Panginoon. Uh, sabi pa nga ni Father Pulinar, when we are able to establish that relationship with the Lord as Christians, you will have that consistent and perfect union. Kaya nga kahit na kung saan ka man na, na nakatira, whether Pilipinas, America, yung desire mo to evangelize would be there. Yung desire mo to help other people would still be there. yung desire mo to bring people to God will remain there and will stay. Kabi pa nga ni Tita, kahit anong challenges yun, no? ilang beses na nga siyang na opera, inabunuhan ng dugo, eh, hanggang ngayon, yung parang iniisip niya, gusto niya parang mag-evangelize. <laughs> That perfect and consistent union with the Lord empowers us to continue the work of Jesus kahit anong situation natin whether there is pandemic or not no ito yung nagbibigay sa atin ng encouragement ito yung nagbibigay sa atin ng ng kapangyarihan ng lakas kumbaga para ipagpatuloy natin ang sinimula ng Panginoon amen tama yun father amen oh, yan oh, wow. ano lang eh uh, ano nga father eh yung y- Pagka nandun ka sa states na, na spiritually high, you can't keep it to yourself. Parang gusto mo talagang i-share. Sabi, ni, sabi nga ni Matthew Kelly doon sa kanyang book na Rediscovering Catholicism. That, oh. uh, ang, ang very, ang ano daw talaga, sabi niya, ang, ang isang napakaganda talagang uh, pamamaraan ng pag-evangelize is tell your own story. Amen. Wow, oh, oh, oh. yung life testimony, ano? Wow. Yes. Yeah. Kasi yung life testimony nga natin is a proof, a living proof of your experience with the Lord. Praise God. And, and Father, yan, yan nga ang, ano, eh, ang mission talaga ng BCBP, ng Brotherhood of Christian Businessmen and Professionals, is to evangelize the marketplace. and win the marketplace for Christ kasi wow. napakahalaga father nga na yung mga especially the young people na nandiyan pa sa workplace no mm-hmm. ay ano uh, makaparinig ng salita ng Diyos wow. <laughs> that's true amen amen to that wow and my dear friends as we move on no um yung relasyon natin sa Panginoon is meron siyang epekto sa atin. Uh, it gives us so many, I would say, privileges. And uh, from the last time we said that um, when we accept Jesus, 
in our life, we become part of the mystical body of Christ. And that uh, eternal life is given to us. We become alive with the life of God. Mm -hmm. Eternal gift of salvation is given to us at the moment we receive Christ Jesus through the sacrament of baptism. We are being assured of that gift. Hindi naman natin kailangan na mag-intay ng na mag-retire o uh, dying na tayo para ma-receive yung eternal salvation. That gift has already given to us by the Lord Jesus through His passion, death, and resurrection. Amen. And it is being formally given to us at the time when we receive the Holy Sacrament of Baptism. Mm -hmm. And another consequence of our relationship with the Lord is that the Father of Jesus becomes our Father. Right? Yes, so Father. That, uh, we call the Father of Jesus as our Father as well. No wonder the Lord Jesus uh, taught his disciples to say, when you pray, say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And third, the mother of Jesus becomes our mother. Yes. The Blessed Virgin Mary becomes our spiritual mother as well. We Catholics do not worship the Blessed Virgin Mary but we do give her a special honor because she is the mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, mother. Mm -hmm. And fourth, we become members of the mystical body of Christ. We become a member of the family of God, the Blessed Trinity. Through, through the sacrament of baptism, we are able to enter into the life of God. We are able to enter into the interior life of God to the Blessed Trinity. Ano yung, ano yung, ano natin? Ano yung part natin in the Blessed Trinity? Remember, we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, Father. Saan tayo sa Blessed Trinity? Saan tayo? We are... By virtue of our baptism, we become adopted sons and daughters of the Father so that Jesus is our, our brother. Because yeah. Jesus is the only begotten son of the Father. At tayong lahat, mga adopted sons and daughters. That's why we become uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen, amen, amen to that. So being brothers and sisters in Christ is one of the consequences of accepting faith in Christ Jesus. We see our brothers and sisters, the people around us, as part of our Christian community. Ngayon, sinasabi pa natin na yung mga uh, brothers and sisters ng natin, yung mga kasama lang natin sa, sa simbahan, yun lang bang mga nabinyagan? <laughs> sila lang ba? Kaya nga siguro pag may nakita tayong hindi kasama sa ating community o oh, galit na tayo o oh, ayaw, <laughs> ayaw na natin silang isama. Mali po yun, no? We have to remember that we are God's children. We are God's children. Whatever our race, color, even those people who do not believe in God are God's children. Right. Yeah. Right? Kaya, tingnan natin na yung pagiging kristyano natin, hindi lang sana dito sa apat na sulok ng simbahan. Mm -hmm. Dapat makita natin na lahat ng mga tao, kilalani natin na sila din ay mahal ng Diyos. Hindi lang tayo ang mahal ng Diyos. Amen. No? Hindi lang tayo ang iniligtas ng Diyos, kundi lahat tayo mahal at iniligtas ng Panginoon. Di po ba? <laughs> Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, 
knowing all of these things, uh, knowing all of these things, the consequences of being a Christian, no? these are just basic things, basic understanding, theologically and biblically. Ano yung nakakatulong sa atin para mas mas uh, malalim pa yung pagkaunawa natin sa pagiging kristyano, katoliko natin. O pagiging kristyano na lang. No? Um, siguro, tanungin natin dito sila, Brother Mike, at uh, saka si Tita Jude. No? With all of the consequences of being a Christian, uh, like uh, you receive eternal life, that we become part of the mystical body of Christ, that we become brothers and sisters, Bless, the Blessed Virgin Mary becomes our mother, and the Father of Jesus becomes our father. All of these things are benefits when you become a Christian. Sa tingin niyo po ba itong lahat, uh, nakakatulong ito to deepen our biblical uh, understanding of being a Christian? Amen. Oh, yeah. Opo. Ay, ako, na, na, na humila yata yung signal. Okay. <laughs> Kasi natanong ko po uh, kanina, oo, natanong ko po kanina na lahat itong mga consequences, uh, nakakapagbigay ba ito sa atin ng, ng kaliwanagan? No? Na, does these things deepen our understanding of being a Christian, knowing all of these consequences? Opo, Father. Kasi nga, uh, mag-iiba talaga yung pananaw namin. Ano? Pananaw namin, nag-iba lahat talaga yung pananaw namin. Uh, especially yung, yung, ano na yan, yung salita na yan na, ano, na tayong lahat ay magkakapatid. No? Sa, <laughs> magkakapatid lahat tayo kay Kristo. Kaya dati, meron kang kaaway, kailangan patawarin mo sapagkat kapatid <laughs> kay Kristo. Eh, no? Sabi nga, hindi ba, Father, uh, Who are your brothers and sisters? Or kaya ang tanong na am I my brother's keeper? Sabi nga. No? Amen. So, Ito. kaya dito nagiba talaga yung aming pananaw eh, na hindi lamang katoliko ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, kundi lahat no? ang sambaya, samba, ang buong sambayanan. Mapa Kristiyano ka, mapa Muslim ka, mapa ano mang... Ayun, naghang ulit. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for that reflection, uh, Brother Mike. No, uh, sabi pa niya kanina, maging sino man, no, ang uh, maging sino man, maging sino ka man, maging Kristiano at Muslim, no, lahat tayo magkakapatid, no. Mm-hmm. Uh, sana uh, hindi natin tingnan yung pagkakaiba-iba natin, because makita natin that we share. A lot of things in common. We share our faith in the Lord. We share that gift of salvation that is given by the Lord Jesus to all of us. Christ offered a universal gift of salvation and the universal love for His people. Hindi lang tayo ang minahal ng Diyos. Kabahagi ang mga taong hindi natin pinapansin, yung mga taong mga nasa laylayan, sila din mahal ng Panginoon. Amen? Amen. Father, sa amin nga sa, sa Pilipinas, no? during the marriage encounter days, uh, tinatanggap namin na yung mga couples na galing sa ibang religion. No? Wow. Ask at our uh, presenting priest and uh, tell him beforehand na meron tayong mga candidate couples dito na nagmumula sa ibang mga relihiyon. In fact, Father, meron nga kaming if I may just share, meron nga kaming isang couple na na ano na nag-attend ng marriage encounter and uh, member sila ng ibang silang ME sa kanila, no? Sa kanilang religion. Then they they invited us to give a talk doon mismo sa kanilang congregation, Father. Wow. <clears throat> That is so awesome. Wow, ang galing, no? See, yun ang kailangan natin eh. Uh, tama po yun. Yun ang kailangan, kailangan natin na marinig ngayon na magkaisa po tayo, no? Kasi kung yun ang pananaw natin sa pagiging kristano-katoliko natin, hindi na tayo magkukupitensya 
kung sino yung tamang reliyon o hindi. Tama. Hindi na tayo magbabasagan ng mga statue. Ah. Hindi na tayo. <laughs> hindi na tayo magiging ano, magiging uh, kumbaga sakim sa uh, pananampalataya na hindi natin intindihin na o tayo lang talagang maliligtas kasi may, meron sa ating ganun eh na o tayo lang yung yung mahal ng Panginoon at iba hindi no at kung ganyan din ang pananaw natin siguro mababawasan din yung mga corruption sa mm-hmm. <laughs> di ba sa government offices sa uh, magiging maganda na yung marketplaces natin kasi nadala <laughs> we see Jesus right there present in in our business in marketplaces sa ating mga relationship siguro wala nang ano wala nang mga crime siguro no kasi lahat ang pananaw natin at tingin natin sa kapwa natin uh, igsuon uh, kapatid kapanalig mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. oo yan mm-hmm. siguro ang magiging solusyon para sa kapayapaan ng buong mundo. Amen. Kumbaga. Amen. Right? That's true, Father. <laughs> wala, na yung, ano, wala na yung kayo-kayo, kami-kami, sila-sila. Oh, oh. Dapat oh, oh, oh. tayo na lahat. No? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Kaya kailangan talaga natin ito na i-share no, yung mga itong basic understanding of Christian life. Kasi... Hmm. Dahil siguro sa basic, hindi natin pinapansin. Mm-hmm. Alam nyo ba na mga brothers and sisters na itong mga basic things na hindi natin napapansin o nakakaligtaan ay siyang susi pa ng maraming solusyon sa mga problema natin ngayon. Apo. Mm-hmm. Huwag sana natin kakalimutan yun. No? So that's how we would like to end this particular topic on basic understanding of Christianity. You know, knowing all of these things, we do not just reflect theologically, but biblically, that these things are real and true and happening. And we have been praying for the peace in our country, peace in the world. We pray for deliverance and the end of corruption and crimes All we need to do, my dear friends, is to allow ourselves to become people who truly understands our Christian faith, our faith in Christ Jesus. Kasi nga, kapag naging Kristiyano ang isang Kristiyano, the Lord will bring you into right perspective, yeah. into right disposition, into... Uh, in, in, placing yourself in the mystical body of Christ. And, and because of that, we learn how to function well in our society and in our community. We learn how to function, how to become a brother's and sister's keeper. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, sabi nga ni Cristo, Father, eh, hindi ba? Uh, the mga early disciples, no, come with me, and I will make you fishers of men. Amen, amen, <clears throat> amen. That's really true. Wow. So, with all of these things, brothers and sisters, we are just so thankful na naging bahagi namin na kayo dito sa topic na ito. Of course, in a very special way, tinulungan tayo. Uh, nila Brother Mike, ni Tita June, na mahimay-himay itong mga topic na ito. And we are hoping again for another uh, series of uh, topic with you para iba- ibahagi natin sa ating mga kapatid, no? sa ating mga kababayan, sa ating mga takabakinig dito sa Servants on Air. Uh, Uh, bilang ano po uh, panghuli po brother Mike ano po yung uh, mensahe po natin uh, yun ang father no uh, parang 
as a summary, sabi mo nga, nabanggit mo na lahat, ano, ang mahalaga dito, tayo, yung pagkakaisa nating lahat because we are one with the Lord, we are one uh, in our faith, and uh, we are one no, as brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Amen. Tita John? Kayo, kapit sa Panginoon, and doing everything that we can to positively influence lahat po ng ating mga kapatid. Yung walang sinisino at walang uh, uh, pinupwera. Opo. Eh, yakapin natin. Hmm. Amen. Amen. Ayan. All right. Thank you so much po and Um, we will be right back for our Divine Mercy prayer, yes, our Father. live uh, Divine Mercy intercessory prayer, and we will continue our prayers for healing and deliverance. Sabayan niyo po kami sa pagdarasal na ito. We'll be right back. Welcome to the St. Therese Mission, located at the heart of the Mojave Desert along the Old Spanish Trail. The St. Therese Mission is a beautiful sanctuary of faith and a home to celebrate life. It is surrounded by a 360-degree, breathtaking view of the desert. In these grounds, you will find the St. Therese Mission Cemetery. Not only does the cemetery sustain the mission, but it also serves as a memorial to departed loved ones. We offer a wide selection of affordable cemetery property, indoor and outdoor companion wall niches, as well as distinguished family memorials and garden estates for cremated remains. These can be found in the Our Lady of Guadalupe building and around the garden of St. Therese. In the complex, one can also find the St. Therese Mission Chapel, which celebrates Catholic Mass on Sundays and other related sacraments. Flanking the chapel are original art pieces made by hand, including 10-foot statues of St. Therese, St. John Paul, and Our Lady of the Smile, the Memorial of the Unborn, the crucifix inside the chapel, and our Stations of the Cross Monuments. The chapel dedicates the fourth Sunday Mass of every month to the individuals whose cremated remains rest in the St. Therese Mission Cemetery. The St. Therese Mission Cemetery is the only Catholic cemetery serving the Las Vegas and Pahrump areas and has committed to providing exceptional service and a serene and sacred environment for our dearly departed loved ones. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. You died, Jesus, but the source of life flowed out for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, immeasurable divine mercy, cover the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. We trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. We trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. We, we trust, trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, brothers and sisters here at PHLV Radio, we invite you to pray with us as we offer to the Lord the many petitions we hold in our hearts. Especially, we pray for the PHLV Radio and the Servants on Air program that may the Lord continue to bless this station. Also, we pray for the Tita June for her complete healing and recovery. We pray for our brother Mike, for their family, for their safety, for all the blessings and protection and guidance. We pray for um, the BCBP community all over the world. Also, we pray, oh God, the uh, healing of many people who are sick and ill because of the COVID-19 coronavirus. We ask you, O oh Lord, to touch them today in a very special way and grant them healing. We also pray for all the poor souls in purgatory, the many people who died because of this coronavirus, people family and friends who have asked us to pray for their deceased loved ones, even the forgotten souls. We ask yeah. you, Lord, to gather all of them and grant them eternal healing and forgiveness. May you grant them that gift of salvation that they may become part of Christ's saints in his heavenly kingdom. Also, Lord, we pray for the Pope all the bishops and priests and nuns and all the religious, the lay leaders and all the parishes and dioceses and to all the leaders in each and every uh, religion that they may work for the common good and that they may continue as well serving their people, respective churches. Also, we pray for all the leaders in our uh, society and community to all the world leaders that they may work for the common good and that they may continue to deliver the services for their people who are suffering these days. Also, Lord, we pray for um, our own healing. We pray for the people who joined us here today in this program who seeks your guidance, blessings, and protection. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now whisper to God all other personal intentions we have. Lord, hear these petitions of your people in all these desires and longing of our hearts. Lead us, Lord, and transform us in Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. Mercy on us. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world.
Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us mercy and on the whole world. Of the whole world. Sorrowful passion. Have mercy on mercy us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy, mercy on us and of, and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy, mercy on us and, us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy, mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. Mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. Mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and of the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins. The world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy, mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrow, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrow, us and of the world. Eternal Father. We offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our for sins and those of the whole, the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have, have mercy, mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy, mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us and on the whole of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and of the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one. Holy, immortal one, have mercy on us and of the whole world. Holy God, holy, mighty one, holy, immortal one, have mercy mm -hmm. on are, us and of the whole world. world. Holy God, holy, mighty one, holy, immortal one, have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. world. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you.
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, As it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning now and ever shall be, world without end. end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Peace be with you. I am Father Joel Aquino. Please join me every Tuesday at 7 in the evening Pacific Time and 10 in the evening Eastern Time for an hour of conversations about Word of God and our Christian mission in relation to the many issues that we are facing today through Servants on Air here at PHLV Radio. Please download the PHLV Radio app from the Apple Store and Google Play where we will have a wide ranging and honest discussions on such topics, especially on Christian faith and relationships. We will also be hearing experiences with God from our brothers and sisters, and hopefully this will enlighten us as to live out our day-to-day -day Christian life. Once again, brothers and sisters in Christ here at Servants on Air, uh, we are just so blessed, really, and grateful that we are able to hold again our weekly program here at PHLV Radio. And nice po namin magpasalamat sa inyong lahat, lalong-lalo na na kabahagi natin sa programang ito, si uh, Brother Mike at Tita June. Marami pong salamat. Maraming salamat din po, Father. Maraming salamat din, Father, as salamat. always. <laughs> Magkita-kita ulit tayo. Ano? Sana hindi kayo magsawa. <laughs> uh, never, Father. Basta isang tawag mo lang. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Oo. Ako, oo. Well, mga kaibigan, brothers and sisters, um, ingat po kayo palagi. Um, lagi po ninyong tatandaan na mahal kayo ng Panginoon at narito po kami no sampo ng uh, programa natin dito sa PHLV Radio lagi po tayo nagdadasal at nananalangin na sana gabayan tayo ng Panginoon at ingatan tayo lagi ng Diyos magandang gabi po sa lahat muli ito po si Father Joel have a great night God bless you all magandang gabi po lahat